Welcome to Berlin, the city that invented the modern donut kebab, and where English-speaking world, mistakenly thinks, a notable US president proudly proclaimed, I am a donut. While you queue at Mustafa's for your daily dose of delicious, vertically sliced meat, let's dive into 10 must-see sites that will help you experience this cosmopolitan metropolis. Brandenburger Tor The Brandenburg Gate is without a doubt Berlin's most famous historic landmark. It was once a symbol of a divided nation, as it stood in an inaccessible exclusion zone of the wall, but is now a symbol of unity and peace. This massive, neoclassical gate was inspired by the monumental entrance to the Acropolis in Athens. The 26-meter-tall sandstone monument stands in the Parisier Platz, just across the Hotel Adlon, where Michael Jackson proudly held his then-infant son out one of the hotel's windows. Reichstag This silent witness to the turbulent history of Berlin was completed in 1894 and served as the home of the German parliament until it burned down in 1933. The fire not only devastated the building, but was used by the Nazis as an incentive for withdrawing basic freedoms. This historical building was not used again until after Germany's reunification, when it underwent a 10-year reconstruction. In 1999, it eventually became the home of the German National Parliament, Bundestag. A new glass dome is a highlight of this magnificent reconstruction, designed by famed British architect Sir Norman Foster. It provides spectacular views of the surrounding city. You can visit for free, but don't forget to book it in advance. Denkmal für die ermordeten Juden Europas The Memorial to the Murdered Jews of Europe, also known as the Holocaust Memorial, is a remarkable monument that commemorates the victims of the Holocaust. The memorial consists of a large field of 2,711 concrete slabs, of varying heights, arranged in a grid pattern. It is located near the Brandenburg Gate in the heart of the city, and is intended to be a place of reflection and contemplation. Visitors are encouraged to walk through the field of slabs and experience the memorial in a personal way. Museumsinsel und Berliner Dom Museum Island is a group of five museums located on, you guessed it, an island in the River Spree. It is home to some of the most significant museums and collections in Germany. The old museum houses ancient art and artifacts from the Greek, Roman and Etruscan eras, while the new museum is home to the world-famous bust of Queen Nefertiti. The old National Gallery has a vast collection of 19th-century art. The Bode Museum has a collection of sculptures, coins, and medals, while the Pergamon Museum is home to the breathtaking Pergamon Altar, stunning Ishtar Gate, and imposing Market Gate of Miletus. The magnificent dome of the Cathedral Church is one of the main landmarks in Berlin's cityscape. This impressive basilica, with its 75-meter-high dome, houses the city's most important Protestant church. It served as a parish church for the Hohenzollern dynasty, the rulers of Prussia, and later the German emperors. Their crypt is currently closed for renovation work but should reopen next year. You can also climb 270 steps to the dome's outer walkway and be dazzled by stunning, panoramic views of Berlin's historic city center. Also, don't miss the richly decorated imperial staircase, designed for the use of the German emperor. East Side Gallery Once it was the Berlin Wall, now it's the longest open-air gallery in the world, with 1.3 kilometers in length, next to the Oberbaum Bridge by the River Spree. Originally painted after the fall of the Berlin Wall, by 118 artists from 21 countries. In 2009, the whole East Side Gallery was restored, 87 artists took part, and 100 paintings were restored. It is a testament to the power of art, and its ability to bring people together. Some of the works at the East Side Gallery are particularly popular, such as Dimitri Vrubel's Fraternal Kiss, and Birgit Kindelza's Trabant Breaking Through the Wall. It's a really unique place, with amazing up-close street art, where you'll definitely leave with some Instagram-worthy shots. Plus, it's a great way to experience some of Berlin's culture on a budget, as the gallery is free to visit. A quick bonus tip. 
Karavorst is a classic Berlin street food that consists of juicy grilled sausage, topped with spicy, curry-flavored tomato sauce, and served with crispy fries. It is a simple, yet flavorful dish that is loved by locals and visitors alike. You can find Karavorst stands and kiosks all over the city, but perhaps the best known is Curry 36 in Kreuzberg. It's the perfect snack to grab on the go, and it's just so darn tasty. Another Berlin street food must try is doner kebab. The modern sandwich variant actually originates from Berlin and was popularized by Turkish immigrants in the 1970s. Today, there are more doner kebab stores in Berlin than in Istanbul. For an authentic taste and queuing time, try Mustafa's Gamuza kebab, coincidentally just a few meters from Curry 36. Some say it's a tourist trap, we say it's an experience, even if maybe, just because food tastes differently after one to two hours in the queue. And don't worry, vegetable in the name, refers to tasty grilled veggies, in addition to a generous dose of thin shavings of deliciously sliced chicken. We must not forget about schnitzel and pretzels, as well as many international cuisines that are represented in Berlin, including Italian, Turkish, and Vietnamese. So, whether you're in the mood for traditional German dishes, or something from further afield, you're sure to find something delicious to eat in Berlin. Alexanderplatz Alexanderplatz is a bustling square in the heart of Berlin and the largest public square in Germany. It is an important transportation hub, with shops, cinemas, restaurants, and numerous attractions all within walking distance. The world clock is a real eye-catcher and a reminder of GDR times. After the reunification, the clock was restored and some mistakes were corrected, as some cities were assigned to the wrong time zones during GDR times. The square is always full of life, with street performers, tourists, and locals all mixing together. Just behind the train station, another GDR times monument is watching over the square and the city, the TV tower. Fernsehturm. The 368-meter-tall Berlin Television Tower retains its appeal to city visitors. Since its inception in 1970, Berlin's tallest building has drawn over 60 million visitors, the majority of whom are intrigued by the spectacular views of the city. Originally built to commemorate communism's power, the landmark is instantly recognizable from the distance, making it even more significant as a symbol of the city's reunification in the 1980s. As the line for a visit to the observation deck can get really long, and the price of the ticket keeps rising, many locals will warn you it's a tourist trap, and recommend instead Panorama Pink at Potsdamer Platz as a superior alternative. We'll leave it up to you. Topographie des Terrors und Checkpoint Charlie The topography of terror is a museum, and memorial, that documents the history of the Nazi regime in Germany. The museum is located on the site of the former central offices and prison of the SS, as well as the headquarters of the Gestapo operations during World War II. The museum features exhibitions on the history of the Gestapo, the SS, and the concentration camps, as well as the role played by Berlin in the Nazi regime, highlighting the heinous crimes committed, and providing visitors with a sense of the constant state of terror that was everyday life for Europeans under their control. It is an important reminder of the dangers of authoritarianism and the importance of standing up for human rights. Checkpoint Charlie was one of three crossing points between East and West Berlin during the Cold War and the only one that was open to foreigners. It was named after the letter C in the NATO phonetic alphabet. Checkpoint Charlie played a significant role in the history of the Cold War and the division of Berlin. It is now a popular tourist attraction with a museum located nearby, dedicated to the history of the checkpoint and the Berlin Wall. The barrier and checkpoint guardhouse, the flag and the sandbags, are all based on the original site and are popular subjects for photos. Photo installation by the artist Frank Thiel, with a Russian and American soldier, each looking into their own respective sectors, and a commemorative plate also mark the memorial. Checkpoint was also setting for many thrillers and spy novels, from James Bond in Octopussy, to the spy, who came in from the cold. Siegessäule The massive victory column, an almost 70-meter tall structure, 
crowned by an eight-meter-high gold statue of Victoria, stands proudly in the middle of the most popular inner-city park, Grosser Tiergarten, large animal garden, where the most visited zoo in Europe, Berlin Zoo, is also located. Locals dubbed the statue Gold Elze, roughly translated to Golden Lizzie, when it was finished in 1873. It might be best known for its central location during the years of the Love Parade Music Festival. The views over the Tiergarten and the city are well worth the 285-step climb to the top of this magnificent monument. If you look closely, you can still see evidence of bullet damage from World War II. Bikini Berlin, KDW und Markthalle 9 Bikini Berlin might sound just a little off-topic, but guess what, Bikini is Germany's first concept mall, featuring exciting boutiques, flagship stores, and restaurants. High-quality fashion and shoes, as well as modern design, can be found here, not the big chains. Around 20 wooden blocks, known as pop-ups, are available for shops and young startup businesses to temporarily display their products. Enjoy the arcade with panoramic windows to the zoo, a spacious sofa lounge, various sitting steps and swings overlooking the ground floor. Kaufhaus des Westens, or the department store of the West, is arguably the best-known department store in Germany, and largest on the European continent. It opened its doors in 1907, and offers an attractive mixture of upmarket and luxury goods, extending on the enormous, 60,000 square meters of retail space and gourmet floor. The Market Hall 9 is a bustling market hall, filled with people, food, drinks, music, flowers, and pastries. It's vibrant and warm, with a variety of foods, to delight your taste buds, British pies, Asian dumplings, Mexican tacos, and Nigerian fufu, are just some of the things you can find here. This historic market reopened its gates in 2011, precisely 120 years after its original opening. We just explored the 10 best things you can do in Berlin, so are you ready? Let us know in the comments below, what were your favorite moments in Berlin, and as always, gently tap the thumbs up, for future explorers. Little Ampleman will instantly turn green when you do that.